Since the introduction of the Standard Obstacle Course, or SOC, in 1967, soldiers in the SAF have trained on this obstacle course known to some as the Soldier's Playground. It's used to train combat fitness and build up arm and leg strength and confidence. To meet evolving operational demands, 6-0 obstacles have been replaced with 7 new ones. Soldiers in the basic military training course, specialist cadet course and officer cadet course will continue training through the SOC with the redesigned obstacles. And today, this team of soldiers will be giving a demonstration on what to expect when going up against the redesigned SOC. They are all related to operations in terms of uh, the, the physical fitness, the physical aspects and also how you clear it. The redesigned SOC trains soldiers in movements and skills required for jungle and urban operations. Enhancements to the SOC also makes fitness training more relevant to operational demands. For example, the stepping stones on the SOC hone the balancing skills of soldiers and also builds confidence in their leaping abilities. After all, leaping and balancing movements count for a lot in jungle combat. Also new to the SOC is this, an obstacle that simulates conditions where soldiers have to navigate around rubble. This facility trains soldiers to vault and duck. And to represent sewer pipes and confined spaces, minus the wetness and smell, is the tunnel obstacle. Also another of the seven new additions to the SOC. Open up, open up. Dodging panels here are used to train soldiers for their lateral movement, be it right or left. It is used to simulate walls with very confined spaces, whereby they will require such movement to navigate across. So Sergeant, safety is a very important concern. Can you share with us some safety measures that have been implemented to make sure that soldiers can go through the SOC without injury? Yes, there are several important safety measures we've taken. For example, you can look at the stepping stone here. There are several, several rubber protection around this obstacle. So, for example, if a uh, soldier falls down by accident, this rubber protection here will minimize any form of injury. So the boys have just about completed half of the SOC and they're down to just six more obstacles. Come on guys, good job, focus, keep focus, that's it. So this is the ditch. We use these obstacles to train soldiers on their landing, balancing and jumping techniques. These techniques are very commonly used for soldiers during any form of operation. Used to simulate areas of restricted height, soldiers have to duck through these corridors to evade enemy crosshairs. After crossing the balancing bridge, which is used to train soldiers to cross obstacles like this, the team will have to face three final obstacles, with the end of the course seeming so near, yet so far. Down to the final three obstacles, soldiers will now have to vault through the window obstacle, the last of the seven additions to the SOC. While it looks relatively simple compared to the other obstacles, vaulting is a much needed skill often used for tactical entry in urban warfare. And here's a fun fact. The apex ladder is considered one of the most intimidating on the SOC because soldiers have to face their fear of heights while carrying huge loads. But it's all for the good of soldiers because it trains them to face obstacles like this. And finally, to build up confidence in jumping and landing from height, this is the terrace obstacle. 
This obstacle prepares soldiers for terrain like such and trains them to move down ledge by ledge. Aside from the redesigned SOC, which will be in place in all camps by June 2011, a new vocational obstacle course or VOC customized to operational units is also being introduced. Soldiers and operational units will embark on a new team-based VOC with success dependent on the completion of the course as a team. The VOC is also customized to each vocation's combat skills and load. So for example, a team from the infantry formation will go through the SOC equipped with two methodors like this one here. And a team from the armor formation will be equipped with a general purpose machine gun. It's definitely more challenging and demanding, but will better train each vocation. And to round things up, here's a quick recap of the redesigned SOC. Come on!